I walked into the photo lab in the restricted area, and this was between missions. Uh, one of the gentlemen I had been friends with, and I still talk to occasionally, uh, he pointed to one area of this mosaic. It was one panel of a mosaic and with a smile on his face. He said, look over there. And I looked, and in one of the photo panels, uh, I saw a round white dot. And at the time, it was very crisp, very sharp lines on it. And I said to him, uh, what, what is that? Is that a dot on the emulsion? And then he's grinning, and he says, uh, dots on the emulsion don't leave round shadows on the ground. And there was a round shadow at the right angle, at the correct angle, the sun shining on the trees. I saw pine trees. I didn't see a coastline. I don't know where this was. And uh, I said, is this a UFO? And he's smiling at me, and he says, I can't tell you that. I can't tell you that. What I knew he meant was it was, but he couldn't tell me. So I said, what are you going to do with this information? And he said, well, we always have to airbrush them out before we sell them to the public. In 1965, um, mm -hmm. in mid-1965, I was loaned to the Lunar Orbiter Project at NASA on Langley Field. They had problems with a piece of um, electronic equipment that was bottlenecking their production of photographs. Um, I was taken into the laboratory where the equipment was malfunctioning. The uh, Airman Second Class was in the dark room at that time. I was also an Airman Second Class. About 30 minutes into the process, he said to me, in a very distressed way, um, by the way, we've discovered a base on the back side of the moon. And then he proceeded to put photographs down in front of me, and clearly in these photographs were structures, spherical buildings, and towers. Always airbrush these out before we sell them to the public. He pulled out one of these mosaics and showed showed this base, which had geometric shapes. There were towers. There were uh, spherical uh, buildings. Uh, there were very tall uh, towers and things that looked somewhat like radar dishes, but they were large structures. If I compare it to what I'm seeing now, because I do have photographs that have artifacts in them that are similar to what I saw. They're massive. Some of the structures are, you know, half a mile in, in, in size. So they're, they're huge structures. Uh, some, of the, some of the buildings uh, seem to have uh, very reflective surfaces on them. Uh, so a couple of structures that I saw reminded me of um, cooling towers at, at uh, power generating plants. They had that sort of a shape. Some of them were, were just very, very straight and tall with a flat top. The particular shot that I saw, there were several clustered together over a landscape, a fairly large landscape. I worked there for three more days and I remember going home and naively thinking, I can't wait to hear about this on the evening news. And here it is more than 30 years later, and I hope we hear about it tonight. And I will testify under oath before Congress that what I'm saying is the truth.